G'day guys, Matty Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you again today on another huge off-grid setup. So if you guys want to run all your mains, devices, air conditioner, washing machine, hair dryer, induction cooker, toaster kettle, big screen TV, coffee machine, you name it, hair straightener, I'm running out of things to come up with here, but um, you know, charge cordless drills, electric chainsaws, if you want to take all that stuff in the middle of the bush, no generators, and you want a system that's able to support that, this setup is the way to go. Really happy with this one. Now we are at the end of September now, and I'm in a caravan park about an hour and a half out of Adelaide. And it has been raining for the last two and a half days. It has been absolute mayhem to try and get this job done, but we've managed to get there in the end. We've actually got the sun to come out for a couple of hours here and there today, which is like, I'm super stoked. I was able to take some snapshots before this video is filmed because now it's like raining again and overcast um, of the solar production I've got from this. As you can see, all of the Victron fruit on this one. So we've gone for the Orion DC to DC charger, so the 30 amp DC to charger. Um, sorry, DC to DC charger here. <laughs> for the vehicle charging, so this will charge from the vehicle at a 30 amp rate. The reason we've gone for this one is because it's a D-Max and it's got a very average alternator for you guys out there. Uh, they're a very, very low producing alternator. Anyway, that's a story for another day. So we've gone for the small DC charger in this for, for replenishment from the vehicle. Now with the solar, we've gone for three solar controllers on this and I'll get into that now. So we've got the 30 amp solar controller here taking care of the original two, solar, um, two panels on the roof. Now we've rewired them and they were they're about 400 watts although i'm not getting anywhere near that from it so the two factory panels are running through this solar controller here the additional solar that we've added on the roof is four by 160. so i've managed to squeeze another four by 160 on the roof you know 640 watts of solar on top of the 400 and something so that's, I think it's a total of 1060 if you were to work it out. However, I'm not getting what I really would like to get out of the original panels. Um, you know, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm getting over the rating from my panels because we've had the sun come out, it's been noon, and I was able to take some snapshots of it, which you'll see. So that's taking care of the roof array. So over a thousand watts, guys, of solar on this. Super happy. The little small 20 amp one here that we've got fitted is for a side Anderson plug. So I'll make and run a portable panel in this and that will work in unison because these are all networked together to combine the charge. Now that's silly potential. There's, there's heaps of watts coming in here. These guys essentially won't run out of power. Um, they're gonna have a lot of power. Now I've gone for the Multi 12 3120 inverter charger running seamlessly on all the factory outlets. And it is at the press of a button that these guys are able to run all their stuff. They don't have to unplug any plugs, do this. It is one touch button and everything is on. They don't even need to get to any of this ever again. 560 amp hours of PowerPool Scout. So they're two 280 amp hour batteries here. Customer pre-ordered these well, like months ago uh, ahead of time. And these are direct from PowerPool here, guys. So 560 amp hours here. That's got a continual discharge per battery of 250 amps. So one of these batteries, once again, is able to support the discharge of this inverter. And that's a great thing to have that redundancy thing. Should a battery fail or you never know, like, you know, to have one battery run this inverter is next level. That means there's a 500 amp continuous discharge when these are combined, but we always derate that and we work on, you know, the ability for the inverter to run from one battery, you know, just in case. Why wouldn't you? It's a great system to do that. Look, sun's coming out. <laughs> That'll be logging some big numbers. Pity I'm not up there to film it. It's a bit, bit of a day like that. So everything's all here, as you can see, and all labeled. This had the chassis mount batteries outside. Had like 200 amp hours of AGM batteries. Factory, bog stock, pretty horrible, pretty average. So that was in this location, and that's just basically all the 12 volt circuits, which there were a couple, got relocated to this area and labeled and fused, of course, which is all down the back. Very easy to see. Should someone need to pull a circuit, they're all on MIDI fuses and it's very easy to um, you know, do that. Uh, I'll take you up to the remote. An old mate has set up, he's got a slide out um, kind of through boot tunnel thing and he's got it custom made so he can have all of his appliances on it at his will. 
So he's got a little induction cooker set up with a toaster and a kettle. He's got all that stuff out there. We've got a microwave here. These guys have come over um, from Mildura to get this work done. And, you know, we've got the fridge, the compressor fridge going here. Now, we're completely off grid. I pulled all the power off. So we'll give this a big rundown. Very happy. So to recap, guys, 560 amp hours of Powerball lithium. It's over 6.7 odd kilowatt hours. Got the Victron Multi 12 3120 amp inverter charger running all the factory outlets, including the air conditioner and everything. We've got the Orion DC to DC charger, 30 amp for vehicle charging. That is on top of the solar, all right? So that will work with the solar. Okay, so there's like 360 coming in from this in watts and over 1,060 coming in. That's nearly like 1,400 odd watts is going to be coming into these batteries simultaneously while he drives if the sun's up. That's enough to still charge the batteries with a lot and run the air conditioner at the same time. You can do that. We've got the MPPT 130 here, taking care of the original factory 400 odd watts of solar on the roof. And then we've got the 50, the larger one, taking care of the new four by 160, so 640 watts going through that one there. And we've got the small 120 solar controller taking care of the side Anderson plug for portable if they park in the shade or they want extra power. Why wouldn't you? That's the full rundown. We've got the Serbo Touch 50, uh, Serbo GX with the Touch 50, and we've got the Smart Shunt down there as well. All the V Direct cables are all in, all the data, everything's talking to each other. We threw in a Ruby tag for old mate, so he's able to see the temperature of his fridge. He can set alarms on the VRM portal, so if he wants to see if his fridge, you know, defrosts because he runs out of battery, which will never happen, uh, he can. He can set alarms on it. Ruby tags, they're wireless. You can put them in this area, you can put them in that area, put as many as you want on, and it will data log all of that for you on the VRM portal. This doesn't have Wi-Fi on board yet, so I'm unable to have it on um, you know, the internet all the time. But when these guys do get that, we'll have it logged on so we're able to remotely monitor this, update any firmware should there be any releases, and there we go. Everything's up in this uh, top cupboard, guys, so I'll show it to you in a second. We'll do a big rundown on this, I reckon, because batteries are full as a goog. Um, solar's in and out, so I'll try my best to get that live for you. I did some a uh, couple of photos. And we'll go outside and we'll see old mate set up and we'll check out what he's got going with that induction cooker. There we go, guys. Really happy with the outcome of this one. Full off-grid setup on a brilliant caravan. This is brilliant. Happy days. All right, so I'll go kettle and the air conditioner at the same time. Let's run inside. All right, so the air conditioner's just come back through. So we've got the toast, sorry, got the kettle going and the air conditioner running now. Let that run for a bit. And let's put the microwave on, eh? Here we go. Uh, that's how you do it. This will be an overload. But by how much? Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Pulling 4,200 and something from the PowerPool lithium batteries. Like I said, guys, these have a maximum continuous discharge of 250 per battery. So I'm pulling 340-odd amps from both those batteries combined now. How good's that? So I'm still 150 off, 160 off their limit. That's why I use them. This is good. I've been trying to get this happening for ages. So see this? This is the overload. And when you exceed like too much from the MultiPlus, that's what happens. But I'm going to let you know what it was. Now see how it's all come back on? Beautiful. So it's an automatic system, it comes back on. Now that was, that was crazy. That was the kettle. That was the induction cooker. That was the air conditioner on full song and the microwave at the same time. And that's what you want. You know, that this is the fail safe that we, and that's why I like to use the Victron stuff. That instantly put an overload alarm and shut the system down. All the 12 volt remains on, right? But it instantly shuts down the inverter because it knows that, hey, it's too much. Overload, let's shut down. So, and as you know, you heard the beep, that came back on straight away. So it hits the reset and it's ready to go. It's a really good way of, um, you know, notifying you that, hey, stop, I've hit the limit, back off. Very cool. I'll bring it back around and show the, the alarm. There we go again. So, multi plus alarm inverter overload. Check. Happy days. It's all there, and it instantly goes straight to that screen so you know what's going on. And take note, it's come back online, so the inverter's basically done a reset. It's shut down and turned itself back on because the loads have disappeared. Very cool. I've actually been trying to get this happening. 
on so many videos and old mates just set everything up because they're basically camping in this thing. I was able to do it for you, so beautiful. That's oh, right, I've turned the air conditioner off now and we've got the kettle going and the induction cooker on flat out. Here we go, so we've got the induction cooker going and the kettle, so that's like 2200 that. And this is on, it's about 2000 watts as well, it's nuts. But she's on the limit and it's running both at the same time. Continually, pretty happy. And this is the day we're dealing with just another overcast, rainy day. 11 o'clock. Living in the morning here, putting in good. So we've got a 1060 watt system on the roof of this. Very happy to be getting that number this time of the year. Um, beautiful.